Hello to everybody listening, this is Daniel Morrison, software engineer from Matrix TSL. Today we're going to be looking at the new blocks view in Flowcode version 8. In front of you you'll see a fairly simple project containing an LCD, a slider and a switch button. The idea behind this project is when the slider is activated, when the switch is activated, sorry, and the slider is moved up and down, the value will be reflected on the LCD display. On the left you'll see the flowchart used to create this project. So it's a, a fairly simple flowchart containing a, a wide selection of, of typical flow code icons. So we have loop icons, decision icons, macro calls, calculation icons and delay icons. And on the right you'll see the C code generated from these icons. And recall that as you move icons around in the flowchart view, you'll see that changes are immediately reflected on the C view and vice versa. So we can move icons around, we can add icons to either view and any changes we make are, are always synchronized between the views. What I'm going to show you now and what you can see on the right hand side is the new blocks view. So if, if any of you have used uh, Blockly or Scratch before, this might look a little bit more familiar than the flowchart or the C code view. And the idea behind the blocks view is icons which, which normally contain um, other icons. So for example, here on the left we have the loop and, and that calls this series of icons within the loop. They're represented in the form of jigsaw pieces which contain other jigsaw pieces. So here you'll see that we have the while icon on the left and on the right, uh, sorry, the loop icon, which is, exists as a, as a while loop. And we'll see that we have these icons here inside the loop, which very clearly and concisely convey that it, this while loop contains the functionality of these icons. So the idea behind the blocks view, uh, similarly to Blockly and Scratch, is that smaller jigsaw pieces are slotted together uh, or connected together to build up larger expressions. So we can start off with, with small numbers of icons, we can group them together um, by dropping them into things like if, if icon, uh, decision icons or loop icons and eventually we end up with a, a single large um, group, group of pieces um, all, all fit together to represent the entire program. Now so it's, we all think of programming in different ways. So some people uh, prefer programming in a very uh, typical text-based paradigm. So we, here we have a very imperative uh, C-driven program, uh, sorry, imperative-driven C program, where we have we have statements um, and, we, and we have to follow the syntax of C. And on the left, we have the flowchart, which is another way of thinking of your program. Uh, and and some, some people think of programs in terms of uh, using building blocks um, which fit together to build up larger expressions. So the blocks view should should make people who think of programming in that way feel a little a little bit more comfortable with Flowcode. But to existing users and people who prefer the other paradigms, it offers that level of choice, which now allows you to view your program in three different ways. The blocks view is fully functional in the same way that the other views are. So as we move icons around on the flowchart view, for example, we'll see them immediately reflected in the blocks view and vice versa. We can delete icons, um, we can copy and paste icons. And it's important to note that all three views, that is the flow view, the blocks view and the C view, they're always synchronized. If you're perhaps presenting a program to other people or submitting work for a project, or to your boss, it's quite nice to be able to, to show a program in different ways depending on who you're targeting with, with your presentation. So it, it allows you to, to convey the information in, a, in perhaps, depending on your preference, a more visually striking way. It allows you to, to teach in a new way and it allows you to just get that level of variety when making your projects. Hopefully this describes the new blocks view well to you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please check out the other videos in this series showing off some of the new features of Flowcode 8. There's a video showing off the new pseudocode view, which offers a fourth view and, and offers even more variety in version 8. And there are also videos showing off existing Flowcode uh, flow features to, to people who are perhaps not familiar with the software. Thanks for listening.